I've been playing the keyboard a lot, and we're in the very early stages, but we are forming a band. Fine motor skills are lacking. Um, okay, what does it mean for you being from Newmarket to be a Leaf? It's great. It is the, uh, is the epitome of um, playing in your hometown and being close to Toronto growing up and, and only watching really the Leafs, um, going to see some Leafs games, always having the Leaf gear, some stuff in my bedroom up on the walls. Um, it, and it's cool to, to have friends around and uh, be able to come watch me and my parents don't miss a home game as well, so uh, yeah. it's very cool. Nice, it's very special. I think you probably have a great question over there. How would you describe hockey culture in Minnesota and how does it compare to Canada? That's a good question, Travis. Thank, Thank you, you for asking that. Hockey culture in Minnesota is actually very similar to hockey culture in Canada. When you're growing up in Minnesota, hockey is the main focus, the main sport, so I think it's a lot like Canada, it's a lot like Toronto, so it's made the transition pretty seamless. Justin, how did you maintain focus during training camp this year? I have a lot of off-ice hobbies that allow me to get away from hockey. I've been playing the keyboard a lot, and I know you've been playing the guitar a lot. We're forming a band. We're in the very early stages, but we are forming a band. And um, that's one of the things that I really like to do to get away and to, uh, to work on a different part of your brain, you know, the creative side more. I really look forward to our jam sessions that we've been having mm -hmm. and um, getting a couple of other boys to, uh, to join in, maybe get a name going. Mm -hmm. um, I know you're, you are the lead singer right now, um, self-proclaimed. Self-proclaimed. Yeah. <laughs> so I would like to battle you on that position maybe someday. Might have to do some karaoke. We'll see. Yeah. We'll let the boys decide. And I'm just excited where that's going to take us. So Justin, what is it like living in Toronto as a professional hockey player? It's fantastic. I love Toronto. Toronto's great. Honestly, I can't think of a better city to play hockey in because it's so hockey focused. It's a beautiful city, wonderful people, best uniforms in sports, Toronto Maple Leafs, definitely best there. colors. It's just fantastic. How do you like it? I agree with you. Lots of publicity, which, which goes with the job, but I, I like it. I think you, if you take it in stride, it, it goes really well for you and the fans are awesome. Around Toronto, you'll get, uh, get noticed a lot of the time being a professional hockey player. Put some smiles on uh, some kids' faces when they recognize you out. For sure. That leads perfectly into our next question. Have you ever been recognized out in public? A few times. Um, it's always fun. Everyone's always really respectful. And um, if you can take a picture with them, that's great. They're always really excited about that. And uh, anything really you can do to have a good conversation with them and make that person feel special. It's fun. Obviously, this, there's a huge hockey community here, so uh, everyone loves their Leafs, so it's awesome. Oh no, no, no! What? This guy's just taking them all. It's over. Is there a ref here? <laughs> There's gotta be a ref around. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That looked legit to me, I don't know. You were elite at the tissues, I'll give you it. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. All right, well, Justin? Tiebreaker who can chug quicker. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>